Hello everybody, Grace Steel Blades, and we're back with more Brick Rigs. Do things look different? They should. There was an update a couple of days ago. Added a new map, a couple of bricks, new weapons, all kinds of new stuff. But the other thing that it added, and this is something people were wanting for a long, long time, was the ability to make trains. Yes, you can finally make trains, and you can put them on train tracks. This particular map here, the Canyon map, which is that new map, has a garage. I think it's right in the middle. Uh, nope, I was totally wrong. It's in the bottom. <laughs> that allows you to put your things directly on the tracks. And here we go, baby. We're on the tracks. Pretty stable, too. Doesn't look that bad. So this one here is by Koi Koi. God, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, because that's what it looked like on the Steam shop. This is called the Crocodile. Saying it's a, uh, one of the most beautiful freight trains that ever lived. And I'll say, 134 kilometers per hour moves pretty good, I think. But I know what you're thinking. That little, that little, uh, front push bar area there. How well would it do against... <laughs> way to get right in the way of my... <laughs> way to get right in the way of my description there, track. Uh, anyway, what I was gonna say was, how would it do against a vehicle? or an object that may be lying in the tracks. Let's give it a shot. So Barbaran, well known, at least to me, for his his incredible buildings. Uh, he is the maker of the, the Pepe's building taco stand mobile taco truck chain, has made something called the Baja Demon. So he's, he's trying to get into independent suspension here. Of course, I put it right on the train tracks, which is probably a terrible idea. So how well does the... <laughs> Oh, 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 full save, full save. I was gonna say, how well does the independent suspension work? Um, well, I, I'm probably using this wrong. All right, you beautiful creature. Do the awesome jumps, we all know you can. Here we go, hey, all right. That was not so much a jump as kind of like, you know those things where the where the parkour people go and they, they run at the wall and then they kick, they kick up the wall and then they do the full backflip. It was kind of like that, only it was kind of like if I tried to do one of those parkour moves. All right, I think we're just a little bit out of our element. Let's uh, let's just try and do like, you know, some, some standard off-road stuff. There we go. Oh yeah, now I'm doing it, baby. Now I'm doing it, look at this right here. Look at this, oh yeah. S the suspension is working, wow, the suspension is working fantastically actually. Uh, hitting these tracks is probably spell immediate death, but uh, whatever. Oh, 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 no, no, come on, do that full roll for me, baby. Yeah, all right. Baja Demon, totally awesome, working fantastically. You know what, hold on, I think we have some extra stuff. Wow, its ability to, to not flip is incredible. Like, oh crap, oh god, all right, that's not what I had in mind. Well, down the, down the clip. Oh, well, when it was called Canyon, they weren't kidding. Slow motion fall. People mention that when you, uh, and I had been saying this for a while, when you use the, um, the slow-mo, it slows down the actual physics of the game, so the impacts aren't that bad. You're totally right. Um, and I've been saying that. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. You, you can kind of get used to it, like when you're shooting missiles and stuff like that, because right before impact, you like, up, oh, you like let it go full speed just for the impact, and then you go back into slow motion, and it kind of works. There's the crocodile, by the way. Who does not know her? The good old Swiss crocodile. In my opinion, the most beautiful freight train ever driven on tracks. Well... Let's let's see its true power, however. Barbaran, you've made an excellent independent suspension vehicle, but like all things, I have to run something bigger and tougher into it at maximum speed. 134 kilometers per hour. Say hello to the crocodile. And right about now is when you throw on you throw on that slow motion. And we take, oh look, there's our body. Hold on, let me go ahead and just let that go and we'll kind of take a look at our little dude right here. There's our body flopping around. Luckily, this guy does superior calisthenics because I think his, his I don't know if that's his right arm or his left arm. I really don't know which way is front or back on this dude. But one of his arms has twisted in place about 75 times. Oh, that's interesting. Part of the train just disconnected. Just decided to like, I don't know what happened. It got like, amazing pressurized gas explosions going on or something. I, I'm not really sure, but it is completely gone. I don't, there was no reason for that to happen. That's one of the reasons I love Brick Rick so much. Like, I can't, 
If I knew exactly what the physics were going to do, it wouldn't be as fun. Here we go. Uh. So, uh, in the grand scheme of things, did the train take out the car? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it broke it straight in half. Uh, but I'll also say that the train got completely obliterated as well. Man War 1985 put together the off-roader. This is a pretty cool vehicle right here. Uh, it reminds me of like a boat or something almost. Like it's got like a, like a keel of wheels. But uh, fantastic at going off-road and like dealing with these bumps and stuff like that. Actually, let's give it some real good bumps. I'm very curious. Like it can go over these train tracks? No problem. Look at that. A lot of vehicles would get stuck or have their wheels blow off or something. Not the off-roader though, baby. This thing was made for the off-road life. Off-road life for life. A little redundant, but whatever. I have a feeling that this wheel pattern is known as something besides stuff that looks like boats. Um, let me go. All right. How about I just run straight into a rock? That is not the way to do it. I think we lost a wheel. We still got plenty left though. You boys know. Oh yeah. Just right up the side there. Okay. Maybe it wasn't really meant to like sit on its head. How about a recovery? Full recovery. We are down another two wheels, but whatever. No big deal. Like I said, we got plenty left. All right, off-roader. You can do it. You can do it. Hey, yes. Okay, no problem. How about if we go straight up this thing? Now, we're missing the two wheels on the front, which I feel pretty bad about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. Got to feather it a little bit. There we go. Fantastic. We went straight up the side of the cliff, and now we're just kind of sitting in this sad little ravine. So, Koi Koi here has the Zug Santa Fe 301 Mitt Wagons. Uh, and then some stuff I can't read. That looks German. Pretty sure. Look at this. Now we're talking, folks. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I need to take a look at this closer. This is what I'm talking about. Man, Koi Koi. Holy crap. What's the inside look like? All right. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh, we got seating in here. Look at this. Oh, it's like a little control panel or something. Now, I don't know too much about trains. I've been inside a couple of them uh, as a passenger. And then I've walked around some of them in simulators. And that's about it. I kind of wonder, hold on here. Now, sometimes you get lucky and there's some sweet, like, lightings and stuff like that. Well, hold on. If we want to enjoy this at all, we're going to have to turn this way down. So what do we got for light? Oh, there's definitely lights. Hold on. See that right there? Oh, it's like interior lights. All right. What else we got? Oh, we got train headlights on the front. Okay. And I think that's it. Now, I don't really do many nighttime crashes. We do have our headlights on, though. Look at the starry sky. Just, uh, trucking along. Well, training along, I guess. Over here in the canyon map on Brick Rigs. No big deal. You boys know how it is. How fast does this thing get? I like that the first little clip here is downhill. Thanks, creator, for that. Man, the developer has been doing fantastic at, with these updates, huh? These updates have been pretty legit, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. 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 No, beautiful train. No. All right, come on, baby. Get there. Get there. Get there. Don't know. Oh, it's starting to wobble. We're starting to get the death wobble on the train. That is not what you want. 85 kilometers per hour, 87, 90. Oh, no. Oh, all the... <laughs> oh, no. All of the carts ended up smashing in. Oh, I just found out you could take off the dashboard. Like, totally. Oh, that's awesome. It makes it even more cinematic. That's hilarious. Although I kind of like seeing my speed every once in a while, but we pretty much know how fast this thing can go. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit more like kind of normal speed here. Just outside of the death wobble. I don't want to get the death wobble. And not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. And now, no, 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 no. And punch it right here. Get that car, get it. Well, it's kind of like a truck. Nail it, yeah. Drive on through it, drive on through. Wow, all right, well. So let me ask you, is this, uh, this actually looks, actually looks pretty legit crane, cr <laughs> crane, train crash style. Like if we, uh, hold on here, let me go ahead and bring on the sun back for you guys. Let me go ahead and turn on the sun for y'all. No big deal, I can do that with my amazing Brick Rigs God powers. Look at the, look at this crash site right here. That does look pretty legit. What ended up happening to the off-roader? You know, the off-roader's in surprisingly good condition. I don't know what to say. Like, we've lost some wheels on one side, but it's not broken in half or anything. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, great, anyone can crash a train into a vehicle. Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever crashed a train into a freaking Ferris wheel? Yes, 
Barbarian and the Pepe's Emporium is added again. With the wheel with the wheel of Pepe, of course. Admissions fifteen dollars, and this is a hell of a Ferris wheel. Uh, ever since the the creator took the bounding box off, basically, and you could make your constructions like really, really big. Uh, this stuff has been getting off the chain, as you would expect. The wheel of Pepe's does in fact turn as appropriate, and you want to see something crazy? Our little uh, our little dude is right there. The door opens and closes. What? What does it all mean? You gotta go into the out mode for that. But, uh, I, so getting this thing on the train tracks is going to be a pain in the ass because the bottom portion here is mostly flat. Oh, you know what else we gotta check out? Hold on one second here. We're gonna need to look at, all right, let's get the lights on here. And there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. How much time do you spend on something like this? Because, uh, it looks amazing. I, I don't know what else to say. Last time Barbarian left me a little message on the, uh, on the vehicle, on the thing. I don't know if this one has one somewhere. You never know. I don't think so, though. But, uh, thanks for that, buddy. <laughs> he knows what I like. Oh, what happened here? Oh, no! This cart's, like, been caught on the area where, like, the ticket guy is. This is a lawsuit waiting to happen. I hate to say it, but the wheel of Pepe did not want to stay straight up for the beating. That's fine. We'll hit it while it's on its side. We've got the crocodile over here, crocodile or whatever you want to call it. It's got, uh, koi koi oil here on the side, if you can see right over there. It's got several oil tanks. Now, I don't think that this is explosive or anything. I think it's just a big ass creature that I want to try and slam through this Ferris wheel. I don't know how well this is gonna go for either party. Let's check this out right about here. Oh, oh, ow. Okay, yep. Everything's just kind of impacting in on itself. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now it's okay. Now it's possessed by Satan. That's fine too. Yep. Poltergeist is in the building. I don't know. I guess maybe these maybe these Swiss trains were often. We're often terrorized by odd supernatural creatures. What is happening here? Whatever. So, this is what ended up happening in the end. Uh, Pepe's still stands quite magnificently. Uh, in fact, I think that this creature is going to be very, very difficult to bring down. So, this is, uh, this is an interesting Inception style thing that's about to happen. Pepe's, the wheel of Pepe over there made by Barbaran is going to get destroyed by this gray demolition code truck. <laughs> also made by Barbaran. Thanks, buddy. Gray demolition company right over here. Now, one of the things that we have... Danger Volatile. Yeah, you ain't kidding. One of the things that we have with this update is the ability to do remote explosions. So before, kind of the way explosions work was like people would put like a little gun inside of a vehicle and it would like trigger the explosion and that's how it would work. Well now, we can trigger the explosion from afar by using some different hotkey bindings. Now he said that when this thing goes off at full speed, it is like everything is evaporated at light speed. I'll be the judge of that. All right, Wheel of Pepe. Forgot to pay your bills this month. That's fine. They hired Gray's Demolition Company to come in and uh, clear up this. I can't even really call it an eyesore. It's a friggin' beautiful Ferris wheel, but it's gonna get blown up regardless. Okay, so supposedly action group number one is left mouse button. So if we click. Whoa! Oh, 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 boom. Okay. All right, yep, Barbarian wasn't kidding. Barbarian wasn't kidding. It actually blew our little guy. He's gone, I, he's, he's in a different continent right now. But it also legitimately destroyed everything on the entire block. I don't even know where we originally were. I think we were somewhere over here, <laughs> I don't know. There's Pepe's platform. Right there. Um, oh my god. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So maybe slowing things down a little bit would be slightly more appropriate. 
Okay, let's try this one more time, only this time with slightly less insanity. That's right, over at the uh, Gray Demolition Company, we take our job so seriously that we dedicate one truck to every single demolition mission. Uh, so there you go. You know that when you hire us, you are gonna get at least one full truck's worth of time and effort. All right, Parker, right over there. Gonna get ready to slow things down and fire the demolition. Oh, baby. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wow, I feel like the explosions are much smoother now too. I don't know if there was some optimization that was done or what, but they definitely feel smoother. This is really cool. The Ferris wheel is kind of Ferris wheeling. Although, you know, it's doing it while exploding. The demolition truck holds itself in surprisingly good repair. Um, I mean, like, look, it's in, it's in, like, it's in great condition. I mean, other than the wheels getting blown off and everything. Wheel of Pepe, not so much. If you were inside the Wheel of Pepe right now, well, you'd be on fire. Um, but besides that, you would probably be asking for your $15 back. Tom Loco made this little tower here. Tom Loco with the XD that may also be that face where the eyes squint. Let me tell you something. This is an adorable little tower. We got our guy over here looking smug because he owns the whole thing. He's like, yeah, what do you guys live in? I live in a freaking tower. What do you think about that? He's got his potted plant over here. You can't have a you can't have a, a fine dining experience lifestyle without some lovely, I don't know, Lego plants. Inside, what are we dealing with here? We've got I don't know what this is. Is this like a business area, maybe? How about in the back over here? Oh, hi, look at this patio. We got a okay. There it is, boys. There's your jacuzzi pool right there with beautiful ice cubes in it. That's, I'm gonna tell you something. Just like, if you're gonna be tough, you gotta bathe in ice, okay? That's what all of the tough guys do. It's a training method. You ever seen Rocky 3.5? It was in that one. Uh, beyond that, does it go higher? Can, okay, apparently it does. There's another level over here. The only thing that's kinda odd is there's not, I feel like maybe it's, uh, it's not, fully furnished and stuff like that one level is awesome but other than that there's not how would you get up to these levels oh it's called the thin tower hotel ah it's a hotel be careful with the gas tank gas tank time to shoot this thing down hey verdeth haven't seen you in a while you like warhammer do you for glory is right we got the freaking predator tank over here i think i just spawned this pred oh god Oh, I just spawned this predator tank on top of the tower. Oh! Oh, no. Okay. That was not what I meant to have happen. The two beings have melded into one another for glory. And there's nothing left. The predator, I'm gonna say, the predator tank took that hit and came out surprisingly well. There we go. See how well things go when I don't spawn creations directly on top of one another? Thin Tower Hotel. I'm sorry, but the land that you've been created on is about to become a parking lot. Luckily, we've got the Empire over here, whatever the hell it is, and they're gonna be, uh, you know what? Hold on a second. I want to, I wanted all the guns facing in roughly the same direction. All right, Tower, time to get taken down. To Chinatown. See you! Yeah! Fire the cannons! Fire the cannons! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, looking pretty good. So far so good. There's that main cannon. Wow! The main cannon will tear you up. Look at all the shells flying out. Uh, get that main tower going. There we go. Break it down. I'm gonna take down the tower behind it too. There we go. Where's the gas canister at? Uh, uh, that's the gas canister. Oh no. Well, I will say the Thin Tower Hotel did have its vengeance in the end. I'm not even shooting at this. There we go. I think it's finally done. The, the Warhammer machine here is so battle ready that even when its gunner is gone, it continues to fire. 
And then to finish things off, you boys knew I was going to have to run in a train into a train. So we've got the Amtrak train 1.1 by Spamtrak. This is a really, really good looking train. Um, it actually looks fantastic. This doesn't do it justice. I I'll show it to you in a second. But we're going to go ahead and run something into it. We're going to run the high speed train with seven cars by JT Schwarm. How fast does the high speed train go? I'm very curious. What does the high speed train look like? Looks pretty good. It's got that, it's got some, uh, oh wow. All right, it definitely, uh, it definitely gets going pretty good, but the question is, will it derail? Oh God, yes it will. Oh sweet derailing of greatness. Wow, the carts just went cartwheeling out. Okay, well, uh, hitting a train into a train might be slightly harder than I had previously anticipated. So I'll take this time to show you guys the Amtrak. Look at this. Look at this, got, you got your top and your bottom down here, looking good, Philly furnished, just kind of rolling on by while I talk about it. Got your sliding open door in there, have you, right there. I gotta tell you, man, it looks pretty imposing too, like from the front, that is a good looking friggin' train right there. Actually, I have the perfect idea how we can throw a train into a train. The high speed train derailed, and the Amtrak kind of flew away on its own, but now, the high speed train is just laying there on the tracks. I think we need to clear it up. Go Amtrak! You say you can get up to about 50 kilometers per hour? BS! I'm pushing the limits. Let's freaking do this. Out of the way, high speed train. Amtrak coming through! <laughs> oh, yes! All right. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you something. I know as well as you boys do. This is just the beginning. Now that there's the ability to make trains on rails and stuff like that, I'm sure the rocket-powered, explosive, insane trains that are 200 carts long and all kinds of other random crap are sure to be on their way. Guys, loving the creations in Brick Rigs. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>